Now to some disturbing cell phone video. This woman left bleeding on a Chicago sidewalk after she says she was intentionally hit by a truck. But instead of a police investigation, her family says they've been getting the runaround. CBS2 political investigator Dana Kosloff live in the South Loop. Dana, the family says police have done nothing to try and arrest the driver. Right, that's right, Erica. And it's been over a month since this incident happened and a month since they reported it to officers here at the 1st Chicago Police District. They believe CPD is not taking this incident seriously, even though the crime was caught on video. What the hell? <laughs> oh. What began as a verbal street side confrontation what the f escalated to this. You good? My hand is broken. <gasps> That's Akela Nowak's voice seconds after she was hit by that truck on the sidewalk near Michigan and Van Buren on July 25th. The truck slammed Nowak to the ground and the tires ran over her arm, just missing her head. The lights were just so bright, it just like went like boom, like it just happened so fast. Do you think she was trying to hurt you guys? Definitely, yes. Definitely. <laughs> she says the woman that threw the beer bottles at them after first targeting and harassing her transgender uncle was behind the wheel. She freely just jumped that curb and tried to run them over without a care in the world and then zoomed off as if she didn't even hit anybody. Noak spent two days in the hospital with a broken wrist, sliced artery in her right hand, and injured knee requiring surgery. While there, she and her mom say they repeatedly tried to tell a Chicago police officer what happened. She literally kept on asking, and they did not come. And then when I had to step in and get the police involved, I got the runaround as well. Mendez says the initial police report even called it an accident. Days, then weeks passed, and both say they kept calling the 1st District Police Station to report what they believe is attempted murder. Then, Mendez says a CPD detective finally called last week, more than a month later. What they've told us is that there's nothing that they can do at this point. My daughter almost, she could have been killed. It could have been a different situation. Why does it have to be somebody who's who loses their life in order for them to respond to, to a situation? The family believes this actually started as a hate crime against their relative. Now tonight, a CPD spokesperson was not able to answer specific questions about this case or the status of the investigation, except to say it is ongoing. But the family wants this woman behind bars. I'm live in the South Loop, Dana Kozlov, CBS2 News. Thank you, Dana.